Oh my god! Okay, this is so trippy. Okay, Whew, I'm so nervous. So, um, I'm doing this video for two reasons. One, I'm gonna go get my freaking nails done because they look disgusting and can't be a bad bitch with, without the bomb face. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And, um, and because I realized that I probably shouldn't have posted that first video looking that bad. It looked like I just finished crying and then like had a freaking epiphany and then decided to start a YouTube channel. But that's not what happened. I just didn't wash my face all the way when I showered. But anyways, here I am showing you how to get ready Julie style and try not to look too bad this time. So right now I'm putting this primer on my face that my mom gave me. It's from a brand called Livel. Kind of like how people sell Avon and Mary Kay, it's like that. It's actually really good. I don't know about like making your makeup last longer, but it makes my skin look nice and I like how my foundation wears on top of it. So for foundation, I use L'Oreal Infallible Pro 108 is my color or the closest thing really to my color because sometimes I think it's not. And I'm just gonna use a Real Tech Sneaks Beauty Sponge. And I'm gonna dab, dab, dab this all over my face. Oh, uh, you know, I don't even know how to edit. I don't know how to do anything. So I don't even know how this video is going to come out. Um, hopefully I don't have like no 12 year old haters commenting on my shit that I suck. You know, I like to go a little full coverage. <laughs> so, I want to say, like, about two months ago, tops, I went to the Vallarta with my best friend Elizabeth. You'll guys soon see her because I was gonna say, because I hang out with her a lot. I don't even hang out with her that much anymore. But, anyways, we went to Vallarta and I bought this originally to make. We're gonna make some awa and I wanted to put it in here and I never ended up using them. So now I was like, oh my God, how cute are these as a makeup brushes holder, like a makeup brush holder. God, I can't speak. I swear being in front of the camera is not easy <laughs> to work. <laughs> okay, so I think I like how that looks. Um, just like everybody else, I use Anastasia Dip Brow for my brows and for my brush. <clears throat> I use MAC 263. Focus. Focus. Wait, the camera's over here. Oh, fuck. Like I said, I don't know how to do this. Oh, this is not brown. Okay, so I'm going to use dark brown today. I say today like I have other colors. Um, I literally just dab okay people who know me are gonna be like bitch your eyebrows are always dark but i literally just touch a little bit and i put the excess on my lid i swear i can't speak and then i'll show you right now how i do my eyebrows can i zoom whoa no no zoom <clears throat> i guess i'll just get closer Don't be that person, you know? Okay, so I like to start in the middle of my brow and I like to start at the bottom. And like right now my eyebrows are a little bushy so I'm gonna go right here because I'm trying to hide how bushy it is, if that makes sense. And I'm just doing small strokes up. And these are soft strokes. What I consider soft strokes, someone might be like, what the hell, that's really dark. And it is, but it's how I like it, so I'll deal with it, okay? <laughs> Let's go. So this is just a get ready with me video for me to talk. Because I like to talk. 
about myself, hence this channel. Okay, and then I kind of smear that and clean it up. That's pretty much how I do it. But as I get to the closer, I mean to the inner corner of my eyebrow, I'm hardly touching it because I'm just trying to kind of color the hairs and not so much the skin, if that makes sense. And like I said, this is all small strokes because I'm trying to make my strokes look hair-like. Según yo digo. I really need to get my eyebrows done. Maybe I should go get my eyebrows done and my nails, but can't do my makeup to get my brows done. <clears throat> Let's see how long I'm gonna freaking make this shit. Like I'm thinking, should I do an everyday look? Or should I act like I'm going to the club? I mean, technically, the makeup I like to wear is very club-ish. I guess you could say but lately I've been trying to practice a more natural look what I consider natural and that's my eyebrows looking like this mascara sometimes eyeliner and the lipstick because I love lipstick well lipstick and lip liner anything that's like pink brown or burgundy I love How come one brow is always easier to do than the other one? Like this one, this eyebrow is shit for me right now. I don't know. <laughs> I think this video might never see the light of day. You guys are gonna hear my dog now. We have the squirrel. <sighs> Squirrels, like all over the backyard, but there's this squirrel that I think is trying to be my friend or trying to take my stuff. I'm not gonna say what kind of stuff because I'm gonna let you think about it real quick, but they're trying to take my stuff when I was sitting outside and I was like, Am I tripping or is this real life? It all started one day. I was outside minding my own business and I see this squirrel and I was right next to a tangerine tree that we have. So I was thinking, oh, it's probably trying to get a tangerine. Well, they're barely growing. They're not even ready yet. And I just didn't pay mind to it because I mean, it's a freaking squirrel. Like what is a squirrel gonna do, right? wrong well <laughs> it started getting really close to me and i was like oh my god what does this squirrel want so i left i left because i was like ah oh, this squirrel's getting too comfortable like i don't want to be around it well i go again like two days later and i see a squirrel and i'm thinking is that the same squirrel but then i'm thinking to myself okay julie like they all look the same you know <laughs> so that squirrel was minding its own business so i was like oh, okay it probably wasn't that squirrel then this other squirrel pops up and I swear as soon as it popped up and it locked eyes it was like there you are like that's what I felt like it was saying and I was like oh my fucking god like I'm tripping out and I have videos I don't even know if I should like clip them here or if you guys want to like go on my twitter I have a thread on it but this squirrel is like staring at me and I like freak out because I'm like, oh my god, I was trying to get my stuff. Like, I need to like get my stuff so I could like leave. I don't want it to bite me because I think they have rabies sometimes. So I back away. Keep doing my makeup. I back away and it's getting closer to me. Like it's jumping on the tree, but it's jumping branch to branch to get closer to me. And I'm like, ah! And I just like ran to my room. And then I was even scared to run to my room because my room, I have like two entrances, one through the backyard, and I was like, Oh my god, what if he sees me go in my room? Then he's gonna be waiting for me outside my room. Like, I know I sound like a freaking drama queen, but you never know. Like, there's animals out there that be doing crazy ass things, you know? And then it ends up on Twitter. Okay. Next, 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 next. If you are someone who's really trying to learn how to do makeup, 
that you're at the right channel. I'm just kidding. Um, but you really are. Um, there is this base from MAC called Soft Ochre. It looks like this. It's a really good base for your um, eyeshadows. This one's not mine. This is my friend's Elizabeth, Elizabeth's. And I haven't asked her if I could use it because I'm not going to use it. So I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to show you because it's something I used to have. But obviously I don't have it no more. And I happen to have hers. <clears throat> what did I do with my concealer? Didn't I say in my first video my room's a mess? Jesus. Oh, found it <laughs> right in front of me. Okay, so I use Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and today I'm gonna use this as a base for my lids, but mostly just to clean my eyebrows because I wasn't messy with it. <clears throat> and for a brush, I'm just using this flat brush. I don't know if this is synthetic hairs, I'm not a professional or anything. But um, this one's really good for concealer. And as you can see, my eyebrows look 100 times better already. And then I'm just kind of like blending the sides so it doesn't leave a harsh line anywhere. Wait. This isn't as hard as it was for me a couple years ago when I really wanted to do YouTube for makeup. I don't know why talking to myself sounds seems so easy, but I think it's because I do this shit on Snapchat. <clears throat> okay, so today I'm going to use two palettes. I'm going to use this one from Morphe. 25B. And I'm going to use Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills, same brand as my eyebrows. And has these colors right here. So I'm going to start off with my Morphe palette. I'm going to use my Morphe M505 um, brush. It's kind of like a tapered blending brush. And I'm going to dip into this color right here because it's the lightest. Look, that's a lot of fallout. <laughs> <clears throat> Gosh, I keep clearing my throat like it's not going to be any raspier. Okay, so I'm going to grab my brush like this and just start swiping back and forth. And this is going to be my transition color. And that's going to serve as a nice gradient effect when I put the darker color so that, you know, it's going dark to light to my brow bone. And usually I don't wear a brow bone color. If I do, it's usually like a highlight. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave this like that so that my concealer is plain as my brow bone color. The same thing. Like I said, you guys, I'm not a professional. Like, I just like showing people how to do makeup sometimes. It's a hobby. I think looking through my camera is easier than this mirror. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab another brush from Morphe E27. This is more like, it's actually less dense. Oh, looks like it still has some color from last time. <clears throat> I'm gonna clean it on a napkin a little bit. I'm gonna dip now into my Anastasia palette and I'm gonna use red ochre. I love this color, it's so freaking nice. Yeah, so this one I'm putting more towards my lid and less on my crease, but still getting in my crease. But naturally, if you just kind of put in more on the lid, a little bit on the crease, it'll do the work for you. And I'm gonna try to stay more on the outer corner, but I am gonna obviously go in the inner corner. I'm just trying to elongate the eyes right now. <clears throat> elongate. Okay. 
and blending you can blend in circular motion or left and right however you feel more comfortable you know I feel like with makeup literally practice is everything because something feels so awkward like this becomes natural after you do it like every day okay now I want to intensify my eyes a little more I'm gonna go back in with the same brush I used at first and I'm gonna dig into like, back my Morphe palette I'm like winging this look right now I really like this purple in my crease like it's so freaking hot so do I put it aquí? And this time I'm going to really try to only stay on the lid and not too much on the crease. And do you see now how that gradient effect is starting to work? Fitness. so nice it's such a fall look okay for my lid i'm gonna use my finger and i'm gonna use vermeer oh vermeer what the hell oh my god i totally said that wrong so i'm just tapping it i'm not going all the way to the end but basically yeah O sea, no tengo prisa. I'm just moving quick because I don't know if my phone's gonna die because I'm recording with my phone. Okay, I think I like that. Next. Uh, oh my God, does my hair look oily already? I just showered this morning. Ah, okay. Um, for blush, I'm gonna use this color called Romantic Rose by Milani. Zero one. Kind of gray purple. It looks kind of pink on camera. Oh my god. Oh shit. I think I. Oh my god. I look like a cop! <laughs> I swear I know how to do my makeup. I was supposed to start insanity today, but my feet have been hurting. Probably because I need to get my toes done too. Um, but I just ordered some new shoes today for um, Cyber Monday. So I'm hoping, so I'm hoping that those are really comfortable and that my feet are not just getting fat and hopefully that I can start working out as soon as I get them. Cause I was running for a while, but my shoes just, they hurt my feet so bad and I'm like freaking lazy. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to get shoes new shoes as motivation and when i get them i'll have no excuse i think simba wants to come out of the camera okay so oh <clears throat> this is called midnight cowboy and it's from urban decay it's a glitter eyeliner i always use it as like a whole lid color i'll put whatever glitter i want underneath i mean sorry shadow that i think will complement this gold because it's a really nice gold and it just, you know, it took me from date night to quinceanera, I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys like ASMR? That's like ASMR. <laughs> if you don't know what ASMR is, probably won't like this channel I'm just kidding <laughs> but I don't know fitness so that's done I'm gonna oh I want to put on eyeliner but I don't even know where I put it Fuck, I don't want to get up <clears throat> Moving on to mascara. Oh, I just want my eyeliner. Eyeliner. I'm gonna do a wing. I'm trying to do it like really thick from the 
the wing itself and thin on the lid. I'm gonna try. If it doesn't come out that way, then it'll look like however it comes out. Yeah, lo cague. No, it still looks good. It's just kind of fucking extra. Didn't I say fit on the lid? Oh my gosh. It's like I forgot what I was doing. Oh my God. My foot fell asleep. Do you guys get calambres? I get them all the time. This isn't a calambre. Calambre is like, what is calambre? It's like when your foot gets really like tense and even will change form <laughs> until that muscle, I guess, relaxes. I don't really know what a calambre is. I just know what it feels like. I have like no lashes. And not that this gives me lashes, cause it doesn't, but it like, I don't know, it feels like it curls my hairs or something. Like they really stick out more than they normally do, cause they don't stick out normally. So it just does me right. And I have gotten asked sometimes like, oh, are you wearing fake eyelashes? Cause look, and like I said, they're not crazy, but. Okay, just a little bit on the bottom. Oh, or something about my makeup that I don't like that much. Maybe because I'm not done. What am I at? 27 minutes? Fuck. This is a long ass tutorial. It's not even a tutorial. This is a get ready with me. Long ass get ready with me. My squirrel story ran too long. From Morphe M515, and I'm gonna grab Cypress Umber. Probably totally messing up these names. <clears throat> and I'm gonna smoke out my under eye. Oh my god. Okay, that definitely did something for me. Finesse, okay. <laughs> FYI, I say that a lot. Okay. I think it's a little too much, but whatever. We are committing now. Highlighter. <clears throat> I'm gonna use Mirame. Highlighter from Desi and Katie, and I'm using this brush from Real Techniques. Um, I think it's called Setting Powder Brush. The name already rubbed off, but I'm 100% sure I'm right. And I'm just gonna tap it in here because this highlighter is crazy. Like, it's like a damn glow stick. You know, it doesn't even look like powder. It looks like you put grease on your face but in a good way. I'm feeling really good about this look now. How do these girls do these things? But when they have their nails done, right? Okay, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I will um, post pictures of this on my Snapchat. Um, that's pretty much it, so like I said, I'm recording from my phone i don't really have a way to zoom into this but this is the final look hope you have a good day this outro is really hard harder than i thought but the holidays are right around the corner i mean 
Thanksgiving already passed, but Christmas and New Year's. So this might be a look that you wanna do. Like I said, I used the Morphe palette 25B and the Modern Renaissance. I love these palettes and together they do wonders. Sponsor me, okay. <laughs>